All right, so Cruz, it seems to be the same straight level. If anything, I'm climbing a little bit, and we're getting 67 miles an hour at 4,400. Identical as before. If we bring it up to 4,600, like the other test, Okay, we're getting about 73, 72, yep, 72 miles an hour, 4,600, so speed stays more or less exactly the same, either direction. So the Vortex generators, I haven't lost any cruise speed yet. This uh, tachometer is a little finicky. Okay, 4,400. Let's try our stall without any flaps. We're just gonna ease into it here. Get a realistic, okay, about 36 miles an hour, full back. Okay, do one notch. Thirty-four. All right. Two notches. Thirty-three to thirty-two. Let's try that again. Hold it right there. Thirty-two. Pull back. Thirty-one. So 32, two notches of flaps. And the last one, all three notches of flaps, 30 degrees, 30 degrees. All right, here we come, coming back. 32, 31, breaks at 31. Let's try it again. 30, full back. Breaks right at 30, full back. Let's try it again, one last time. Maybe right there. There's 30, I'm full back. Right at 30 miles an hour is where it's breaking at 4,400. Full flaps. All right, coming up on 5,000, we'll try all of our power off stalls. Give it a... <coughs> that helps. Little air sick. It's been a while since I did so many stalls. But we'll continue until I puke, I guess. Okay, they're dead idle, we'll do no flaps. Flare it out. Right at 32, way better with no flaps than it was before. I'm gonna try that again. Okay, no flaps. 33, 32, somewhere in there, way better than it was before. All right, there's one notch. 30. All right, one more time, one notch, 30, okay, there's two notches, establishing our descent like we're going to land, all right, start our flare, coming back with two notches, 30, nose falls off, nice and mellow, okay, try it again, 28, one more time, establish our glide. All right, start our flare. 30, full back, okay. And now that's three notches of flaps. So pretend I'm coming in for a landing, we're still at idle. Start my flare. Full back, 28, nose falls away. Uh, let's try it again. 28, got down to 25, as low as I saw it, but it's breaking before that. Let's try it again. 30, 28, yeah, it's around 30 miles an hour. So I think that's about a five mile an hour, maybe six mile an hour improvement. Yeah, it's below 30 when it finally breaks. Kind of a fun little roller coaster ride. All right, so I'm going to warm my engine back up. We're going to cruise up to about 7,000. We're going to turn the engine off. 
and give it a shot because this thing before it would act a lot different when the engine was completely stopped, the propeller stopped moving versus when it's uh, running, even at idle. So we're going to head up there and we're going to turn it off and do some stalls. All right, we just completed our clearing turn. We're at 7,500, so we're a good 7,000 feet above the lowest spot below us. We're in an area, so if we end up crashing, we're not going to hurt anybody. And we can still glide to the airport if I can't restart the engine once we turn it off. But the purpose of this test is to see how the plane behaves with the engine completely off and the propeller stopped in a stall versus when it's at idle and then it's just windmilling. So, okay, the temp's coming down. We're gonna shut it down. All right, there it's idle. Not touching anything. Sitting right at 50. All right, off we go. Okay, that engine is completely off right now. We're gliding. Let's see, trim it for 50. All right, there's 50. Seems to glide fine. Now before, when you start pulling back about 45 with no flaps, it start burbling. So we'll see how this acts. There's 40, 35, okay, 35 with no flaps, pull in one notch, Thirty-one. all right, that's one notch, back to two, so two notches of flaps, 50, start our flare like we're going to land. Thirty-one, broke about thirty-two. We'll try that one more time. Let's see where thirty. Okay. All right. There's fifty miles an hour. All three notches of flaps. Pull back. Thirty. Twenty-eight. All right. Try that again. Pull back. Saw 26 there for a second. All right, try one more. 26. One more again. 25. <laughs> okay, we might be getting the stall a little steep. Kind of ends up going. Over, it's kind of like a fun little roller coaster, but all right, seems to be fine. Um, it's way more stable with the vortex generators on here, with uh, with the engine completely stopped, propeller stopped. So, all right, let's fire it up and uh, warm it up. Head back down. And there we are. And now when you do this, like your engine cylinder head's gonna cool off. So you just gotta warm it up like you just started on the ground again for the first time before you start flying around. So anytime you, you know, someone wanted to try a test like this, make sure you got plenty of altitude. You're in an area that's really safe in case something goes bad. You're not gonna hurt anyone on the ground. And then just let it warm back up. And then start flying again. <laughs> 